Howdy, students. Got another uh, example here for y'all. Um, so we are asked to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals x squared, y equals 4, x equals 0, x equals 2, about the y-axis. Uh, so the first thing is I want to look at our region here that I've already sketched out. Um, we see that we have little parts of our We have different parts of our re parabola that are not included, right? Which tells me that we're probably gonna have to use the washer method. Uh, and if you remember, the formula for the volume using the washer method is the integral from A to B of the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. Oops. With respect to some variable uh, A. Okay, so what I need to do first is I need to identify my outer and my inner radius. Uh, again, we're rotating this graph about the y-axis here, so all of my terms need to be with respect, or, uh, yeah, in terms of y. So, I've already gone ahead and done that here. We see that we get x equals square root of x, and now we just need to identify where to plug in, what to plug in here and here. Um, so, if you remember from area between curves, when you are evaluating the area bounded between two regions on the y-axis, instead of doing our little horizontal line test, where we go straight down and then we do upper minus lower, I'm gonna rotate my iPad here, and I'm gonna draw my horizontal line from perpendicular to my y-axis. And we actually see uh, that we get actually erase this so that it makes sense for what I'm about to say. We actually see that this is our region, right? And so I'm going to draw my line a little bit lower here so that's a little bit more obvious. Right? And we actually hit x equals 2 first as our outer radius, and then we hit the parabola for our inner radius. So I'm gonna go ahead and substitute those in, and then we get, we'll worry about the bounds in a second, our outer radius is two minus, two squared, minus square root of y. There we go. Squared, I'm gonna simplify. Minus y. Cool. No oh, apologies, pi. There we go. Pi. And lastly, pi. Okay. So again, we're integrating about the y, which means we're going to look and see what y values contain our region. And in this case, it would be 0 to 4. Substitute those in here, zero to four. All right, dy. And the last thing we need to do is just evaluate our integral here. So I'm going to keep the pi on the outside. The integral of four is four y, and the integral of y is y. Come on, come on. Squared. Come on, over two. On the bounds, sorry guys, zero to four. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of break it up a little bit so that we can see what's going on. So I get four times four minus four times zero, and then I get four squared over two minus zero squared over two, which gives me 16. And this gives me, this is 16, so 8. All right, so then I get pi, oops, pi times 16 minus 8, which gives me 8 pi.